Welcome to the 5-2 profile. The 5-2 profile has in its uh, conscious access the way you shine out in your life is through the fifth line, a line of attractiveness, a line of projection, where people look in and they see that you are someone who can save them. You are someone who will solve their problems. You constantly get expectation from the outside towards you. In the unconscious side of you, in the second line, there is this reluctance to engage. There is this childlike quality that is a natural in what you can do. You have so many gifts in you and they appear apparent to others, but not to yourself the things that you can do that you just do. And if someone says, well, how do you do that? I have never seen it. I mean, that's pure genius. And the second line has a, has a quality of genius about it because it's so natural and easy and it seems like, wow, they can just do it. But you may not be able to teach it. It's, you're not aware of the special gifts that you I have. want to be in the spotlight, unless it's something that you really believe in, unless it's something that you've been called to. And then, wow, wow, then you really make a difference. As an example, Abraham Lincoln was a 5'2". You know, his passion to end slavery in the United States was heretical in that it was going against the, the tide of what had gone before. You know, some people loved him for it. Some people hated him for it, obviously. You know, the vested interests would not want that. They don't want that, but he was, he was being called inwardly to do it. He had the ability to get it out there in a way that very few profiles can do. Uh, to try to protect this this innocence that's within the second line, knowing she was going to be projected on, not knowing what the outcome would be, not wanting to be put on show, and yet knew that they would all see her and look into her. So I want you to think about that, and I want you to think about the, the shyness of the second line that doesn't want to be involved until it gets into its thing and then it's very bold. You know, look what Abraham Lincoln did as an example. You know, it's like, wow, that is a heresy. That is a rebellion. There's a natural rebellious side to you. If everyone's going right, if it's more practical to go left, you will go left. And you can tell people this is the way. And if they follow you, you may well save them. And if you don't, if it doesn't go the way you think, then you can suffer this profile of yours. You know, out of all the things that are going on, there's certain things that you're interested in and only certain things. There's certain things that you feel called to and not other things. And you don't need to know the way everything works. You know, it's a surprise to you sometimes when you try something you didn't think you could do and suddenly you can do it and suddenly you've found another gift. It's impossible for me to know what you're into, but I encourage you heartily in it and I encourage you to look after yourself and to engage in the right timing and to know your power and to trust your natural gifts and to enjoy your life. And I'm sure there are so many more people that would like to thank you for the work that you do and the world when you do go out. Thank you.